Brian Baumgartner calling in to reveal all of his personal conversations with Aaron Rodgers that's going to reveal exactly what's going on between him and the Packers. Is that true or false, <laughs> Brian? Uh, oh, yeah. What do you want to know? Anything you want to know. <laughs> Any, anything you want to know. Everything. So, uh, let me just ask this. Have you called Aaron Rodgers to say what's going on? Has that at least happened for you? Um, I mean, I typically during the off season I speak to him uh, on multiple occasions. Okay. And uh, so, but you haven't lifted the phone and say what, what's, uh, what's going on, man? That hasn't happened at all? Um, you don't have to tell me during the off season. We, we speak on, on a number of occasions and occasionally play golf. I mean, look, Rich, yes, it does, this does, this doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure <laughs> the situation out. Does it? <laughs> this doesn't take a brain surgeon. Well, I mean, it you, does feel you go, you go, you go to the NFC championship game in 19 and what, is every, you included? I'm sure I didn't. I didn't pull the tape, mm-hmm. but everyone says eh, they just didn't have enough horses against San Francisco. Right? San Francisco, faster, deeper, stronger, better. We need some wide receivers. We need some defensive players. You know, blah blah blah. You know, all your guys talking about what they need. And when you then have a number one draft pick. I mean, of course, they have a number one draft. When they have a first-round draft pick and you choose to trade up to draft a quarterback, which I don't think was a position of need at the time. I might be wrong. Uh, And you don't communicate with your MVP that this is something you're going to do and explain why, it doesn't seem like... It's like if they brought in a big balding guy to sit at the (laughs) desk across from me at the office. (laughs) And I was like, uh, what are we, uh, guys, what are we, what are we doing here? Are we, what, what, uh, am I, am I under contract still? I mean, I, I told everybody I wanted to finish my career here at Dunder Mifflin, (laughs) right? I I said that's what I wanted to do. Right. So, right. what, What are we doing? Yeah, I was saying just the other week that, you know, uh, I've got three kids, 12, 10, and 7, that the number of times that I will essentially tell them when they do something and I'm not particularly pleased about it and they don't like my reaction, I'm like, what do you think my reaction was going to be when you behaved in the manner that led to my reaction? That is, you know, (laughs) that is similar to what you are saying. Like, what did you expect the reaction to be? So that, that, yes, I, and I don't, I, I, and look, this is, this is, this is, this is from me. I mean, this is, this is not, this is like, there was, well, there was probably one person more shocked, but it was almost no one more shocked than me watching the draft in what year? 2020, 2020, yeah. 2020 when yeah. it happened. Um, I mean, it just doesn't, it anyway. And then all of the decisions that have been made after that to a person that had said, I want to retire a Packer, um, all, all roads lead to that not happening. So I don't know why anyone is surprised about whatever's going on. Well, I don't know what's going on. Well, I, I hate to no tell idea. you, I hate to tell you, there's another podcast on the office uh, interviewing people, uh, Brian, and um, it is by somebody who's apparently uh, very similar to you, and um, that's just been announced, so I hate to tell you. Um, just call iHeartRadio and say, why didn't you get the call beforehand? I think that's what you should do, personally. There you go, everybody. Yeah. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.